guys, my name is Arusa. This is Romina, Christina, Georgia, Kanisha, and Ungrid, who's going to be driving us to Toys R Us to talk about our uh, Mattel unethical case. Here we go. <laughs> we'll see you guys there. Hi, Hi Bobby. Hi, Jim. You want to go for a ride? Sure, Jim. Jump in. <laughs> Wrong star, guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, we're approaching Toys R Us right now. Yeah. <laughs> Go check this out. <laughs> was a manufacturer that was working with Mattel and they were the ones that were putting the lead in the paint. So for example, Elmo was one of the most uh, important and popular toys that were recalled and over 20 million of toys were recalled because of the lead paint because it was over the legal limit by 15% within the states. And this is just one of the four toys that we have today that we're going to show which were contaminated with lead in 2007. Dora was also contaminated with lead in 2007. It was one of the main products that was sold because it was really popular amongst all the girls. And they used paint to the lead paint to basically paint over their face and stuff. And these are things that girls and little kids could put in their mouth, which was direct harm for them. Hot Wheels is another one as well, which was one of Mattel's major brand for boys. And this is one of the leading generating um, toy for boys. I'm not sure what this is made of, but it seems like it's painted paint. So this, I'm not sure if it's healthy for kids. So Fisher Price is also one of the main concerns because younger kids would put them in their mouth and chew on them, which could like danger the kids. So because of the situation gaining mass attention, the CEO of Mattel announced a public apology to its consumers, and they have uh, created a social corporate responsibility division that um, helps ensure reassure that their products are in good quality and that the and that it is safe for their children to use. In addition, they also provided coupons for compensation. compensation. Case. Okay. So we're back from Toys R Us. And to sum up the case, even though Mattel didn't have direct involvement in manufacturing the products, it's still their responsibility in providing excellent products and to have a good corporate image and to maintain an excellent reputation in the near future. That was perfect. That was so good. <laughs> that was perfect. That was great. <laughs> Until next time. Bye. Bye. One yes. love, Superwoman. Zoop. <laughs>